Thank you for stopping by the channel. So today what we're gonna do is go over three important tips for beginner golfers. The main goal here is to help you start off on the right foot so you get better faster and hopefully enjoy the game more. So for more content, please like and subscribe. So the first tip that I wanna go over is the grip. The grip is absolutely critical in being able to have consistent ball striking and just be able to play good golf. So you always wanna pay attention to your grip. I'll start with what I see is usually the most common thing that uh, beginner golfers are doing wrong in terms of the grip. So it could be that they played baseball or other sports, but what I'll see is, you have the two hands on here and there's a gap. The hands aren't connected. And so what I want you to think about is, what we're trying to create in a golf swing is one hinge point where we can just release the club. When you have a gap here and your hands aren't connected, you've now got your wrists, two wrists at two different points fighting each other. So this is by far number one, the thing you wanna make sure you get right. And there's two ways that you can grip a club traditionally that are, uh, so you can kind of pick which one feels best for you. The first is interlocking. So just go ahead, get your trigger finger out, take your pinky, lock them together. And what I've done is I've gotten my hands together here, this hand up on top. I'm trying to create as close as I can to one hinge. If you don't like the way interlocking feels, it's not an issue. Go ahead, just get your hand on there. You can do overlap. So your pinky goes behind the knuckle of your trigger finger again. So you're getting these hands together. My right hand is still up on top of the thumb and they're still together, not this. This will not let you play good golf, I promise you. So that's grip is tip number one, very, very important. You wanna make sure you have one of those two and most importantly, your hands together to try and create one hinge. Tip number two is that whenever you're practicing, you should always be checking and working on your alignment. This is essential. This is how you know where you're aimed at. And this is another thing that I see most people that are learning to golf uh, really struggle with. You know, they get up on the course and they might, you know, maybe your friends have told you, oh, you were aimed over there and you're aimed way right or way left. Um, it takes a little while to get kind of used to being able to see and feel where you're at. So the way to go about doing it and getting better at it quickly is get an alignment stick or just a golf club. But make sure when you're out practicing that you always have something pointed at where your target's at. So you can always make sure that you can look at your feet you can set yourself up and you can start to look down and look to your target and start to see those reference points. Like you'll just kind of start to know like when I'm lined up correctly, oh yeah, my shoulder feels like it's here and my feet look like this. Um, alignment is absolutely important. It's how you're gonna be starting the ball online where you want it to go. So always make sure every time you're practicing that you have an alignment stick down. The third, and this is probably most important tip, is don't practice bad habits or, or over-exaggerate things to try to fix something that's going wrong when you're a new golfer. What I mean by this is, um, you'll see it, maybe one of your friends, maybe you're, you're hitting the ball really far right, for example, so you're hitting a slice. Super common for a beginner golfer. What do I see people do all the time to try to fix it? Say this is my target line. Well, what people start to do is they just start to aim further left. So without going into a lot of detail, I'm just gonna tell you that is not the way to go about becoming a better golfer and, and fixing it. When you start aiming further left, you're actually probably gonna make your slice even worse. So without going into all those details, but that's what I mean by don't practice bad habits. You know, when you're a beginner golfer, if you wanna get better quickly, you wanna practice the fundamentals I just talked about. Like you always wanna make sure your grip is good. You always wanna make sure your alignment's good. If you're hitting it right, well then you work on how to correct from hitting it right. The solution isn't just to keep aiming further and further left. That's practicing a bad habit that's not gonna help you get better. Um, same thing with grip. So when I see people again hitting it really far right, all of a sudden I'll see people start getting these really strong grips, like their hand is all the way over here. When you're gripping a golf club, Ideally, when you look down, you wanna be able to see these two knuckles, these first two knuckles when you just look down. If you can see your entire back of your hand, it's a really strong grip. It's probably not the best. You, you wanna have good fundamentals so you can practice correctly and get better. And the reality of it is, 
golf's just hard. Like if you're a beginner golfer, enjoy the ride. Honestly, have fun with it and just practice good fundamentals. You'll get better faster than trying to do some of those other things I just talked about, which aren't gonna help you get any better. And it's gonna take you longer to actually you know, get the fundamentals down and get a good swing and get good at making ball contact. I hope this was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more content.